Welcome, survivors, to the Verview Guide for Weapons and Armaments. Today's episode is covering armors. Armor is used to protect your frail body from anything that might cause you harm on the, from the outside, such as weapons or zombies. Unfortunately, these do not provide protection for the whole body and need to be maintained well, or else they will become as useless as any other f piece of fancy clothing. Most higher level armor will have a certain strength requirement to be able to wear it. The stronger and more complex an armor is, the more skill and cash it will require to repair it, and the most experienced engineers are required to properly fix the armor. Some armor can become in different colors to suit the player. There are four different conditions of how damaged an armor can be, which are normal, scratched, damaged, and broken. Normal is 75 to 100 percent durability, scratched is 40 to 74, damaged 1 to 35, and broken being zero. What this indicates is how much strength is left on that armor, how much more damage it can absorb before it totally is broken and must be repaired. Each armor has its own damage absorption rating. The higher the damage absorption rating is a percent of damage, the, pl the armor will absorb from the raw damage and deal to its durability value, which the remainder being dealt to the player's health. Let's say in a zombie hits you for 10 damage. A sports armor does 20% damage reduction. You the armor would take 2 points of damage while you take 8. Now at this point you may be asking yourself, where well, can I find one of these armors? Armor may can be found in the inner city by looting or bought via the market from other players. Some kinds of armors can even be bought at the credit shop. When finding armor, there is a small chance it will be master crafted and grant extra stats when equipped. These stats are either agility or endurance. Agility lets you move faster, endurance gives you more health and longer sprint time. Survivors can also request an item to be master crafted or gold crafted if they pay the necessary cash or credits at the yard. Armor can also be scrapped for a set value to get rid of quickly. Very good for when you are at Nostia's holdout and you mold in your loot multiple sports armors, since you can keep one and scrap the rest and quickly get one grand. Although master crafted and god or god crafted armor will be worth more. And uh, a little bit of note that most people do not know of. When Mastercrafted armor is broken while still equipped, their stats will stay increased unless you unequip the Mastercrafted armor. And endurance bonuses from Mastercrafted armor does not directly affect your health, but it acts as fake health of sorts, pseudo health, if you will. What it does is that it causes, I guess you could call it extra durability, but it's added to your base health. Now, as for covering specific armors, today we're going to cover the sports armor, the Zoilon vest, and the Kevlar vest. The sports armor has 20 durability, 20% damage absorption. It can be repaired by an engineer level 5. Available colors are black, blue, brown, green, gray, red, white, and yellow. The scrap value is currently $1,500. Made for minor protection from the hazards of athletics such as straight baseballs. This is what its primarily function was. In a normal outbreak, these lightweight pieces of plastic would have sufficed, of course. But this incarnation of the undead came with mutations that could easily crush tanks and pierce metal. So sporting armor proves to be next to useless against these strains, the N4 strains. However, it is still cheap and commonly available for those who are just getting used to the swarms of zombies assaulting the outposts, particularly Nostia's holdout. It's a very good armor to start off with, but it, as it is the first armor, I recommend that you get a, me a better piece ASAP. For it will not help you when you have to move to another outpost. The next piece we're going to be covering here is a Zoilon vest. 40% durability with 25% damage absorption. It can be repaired by engineer level 15 plus. Its available colors are a bit more restricted than the sports armors being only blue, green, red, white and yellow. The Zoilon, a thermoset synthetic polymer, is used in products that require high strength and good thermal stability. However, Zoilon meshes were proven to be somewhat unreliable due to the material's eventual degradation from age. 
However, it is still a very good armor to for v beginner levels, and of course, not just holdouts and maybe even dogs outpost. The next piece of armor and the final one we shall be recovering today was the Kevlar vest. With 60% durability, 30% damage absorption, it can be repaired by engineer level 15 plus. This has got more color choices than the Zolon vest, being black, blue, brown, green, gray, red, white, and yellow. Now, a bit for um, information for it: Kevlar vests are light and durable type of body armor due to Kevlar fibers having very high tensile strength. As such, they provide excellent protection against projectiles. While being very much bulletproof, protection against the brute strength of claws or a zombie, or even the melee weapons of fellow survivors is rather limited. This way, this pretty, this holds true as for well for real life, because blades are will cut through these things like there is no tomorrow. This has been episode one of Fairview's Guide to Weapons and Armaments. The next episode will be will be will be covering the flock jacket, the mesh SLX, and the mesh RX2. Keep on fighting, survivors! You are our last chance. Out. Uh, this has been RE Powerplay. I'm out. Putting the accent aside for now. Um. If y'all want to see more of this, or and you really do enjoy this, hit the like button on the side. It really helps my channel, helps me grow. Um, share it if you wish with other di friends of yours of Dead Frontier. Uh, if you want to see more of my videos and you want to keep up to date on this new series, hit the subscribe button in the top left, uh, and you it will you will automatically be notified every single time I create a new video. I tend to do live comms and the occasional. Montage or music video, uh, especially for celebratory things. Well, this is all I have to say. So, this has been our power play. I'll see you guys later. So, laters.